Hello, Eric. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hey, what's going on, Eric? How are you today? Uh, I'm fine, thank. How was your day? How was I, your day? My day was very, very good. Awesome. I'm happy to hear that you had a good day. What did you do today? What did you do today? Uh, with a uh, good uh, and good news really what's the good news what's the good news um the family grows i'm sorry repeat and my family grows your family grows yes you're going to have a baby. Yes, teacher. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. How many babies do you have? I have the two, two babies in this moment. Oh, uh, nice. And how old are your babies? Um, my son, how old my son? Um, my son have 10 years old and my daughter have five years old. Oh, nice. They are young. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Um, in this case, we're going to say like this. Uh, you can say, my son is 10 years old. And you can say, my daughter is five years old. Right. So in this case, uh, we're going to use the auxiliary is. Is. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. The verb is is. We use have uh, whenever we are speaking about uh, possession. For example, I have a house. Uh, he has a car. We have books. So in this case, the possession, when we are speaking about a possessive, uh, we will use the auxiliary verb have in the first person, has in the third person, singular, and have if we are referring to the plural subject. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Amanda. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I want, I, I'm fine today, teacher. That's good. I'm happy to hear that. How was your day? It was um, with a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same thing every day. Oh really? A where do you, where, what, what is your work? 
I work in audit. You are an auditor. Audit. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. You can say, uh, in this case, you can say, I am, I am an auditor. Do you work for Deloitte? No, I I don't. I am not work for Deloitte. I ah. am work by uh, RSA, uh, RSA Consulting. Ah, it's the competition. Yes. <laughs> mm, I see. All right. In this case, we don't say I am work. You say I work in. Uh, for example, auditor consulting, right? So in this case, I don't need to use I am work. We say okay. I work. Uh -huh. I work. I work. Excellent. Thank you. Let me have the next participant, Lisette Castillo. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm sick. I begin uh, symptoms of flu. Today? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you, Disney. How often do you get the flu? Mm. I, I see flu almost casi siempre en ah. cada mes, casi me está dando gripe. Okay, aquí va a decir así. I get sick with the flu once a month. Repeat, please. I get sick with the flu. I get sick with the flu once a month. Once a month. That's right. That's right. Oh, well, I am so sorry to hear that. I am so sorry to hear that. I hope that you get better soon. No stress. Hello, Marlon. How are you? Hello, I am fine. Thank you. How was your day? My day was very busy. Very busy? Why? What did you do? Um, the work, my work, my work was stressful. What do you do? This. What do you do at work? Um, in my work, I I am a supervisor. Um, I have ten ten lines of production. Wow! Uh, yes, it's very stressful. Sounds like you got a stressful job, my brother. Yes, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Kevin. Welcome, Eric. Welcome, Amanda, Lisette, Marlon. Welcome, everybody. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, we are ready. Okay. Ready, ready. All right. Who can tell me what do you remember? about yesterday's class what information do you remember what topics do you remember 
passive voice. Thank you, Lisette. Passive voice. Uh, can you give me an example of the passive voice, please? Give me an example of the passive voice. This, this table made in made by my father in 2015. Oh, excellent, excellent. Very good example, Lisette. This table was made. This table was made by my father. Oops, father in 1982 perfect perfect can somebody else give me another example using the passive voice can somebody else give me another example using the passive voice Okay, uh, in what situation do you use the passive voice? Can somebody give me an example? Anybody? Can I have one volunteer? Do you remember the activities that we were looking at in the previous class? Can you hear me? See? Si. Okay, Amanda, can you hear me, Amanda? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Amanda. Can you give me an example of the exercises or a sentence that you can remember from the previous class? Um, the example is uh, was um, the song uh, was record for. Oh, very good. Very good. So we were looking at this exercise over here. Um, we said the song yesterday was recorded by the Beatles. Mm, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Amanda, can you read for me the sentences, please? I would like for you to read the sentences for the pronunciation practice. Okay. The kiss was painted by Gustav Klimt. 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 The, song, the song yesterday was recorded by Beatles. Uh, the film is still the lit was directed by Steven Spielberg. The novel Pride and Pre 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 Prejudice, Prejudice. Was, uh, was written by Jane Austen. Written. The opera, well, excuse me? The pronunciation is written. Okay. The novel Pride and Prejudice was written by Jane Austen. The opera Carmen was composed by George Bissett. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Amanda, thank you for your, per your participation and good pronunciation. Thank you so much. At this moment, does anybody have questions about yesterday's class?
at this moment, does anybody have any questions about yesterday's class? No, teacher. Awesome. Now we are going to move forward and I would like for us to look at the next activity. In this activity, we are going to be looking at different ways to pronounce the letter O, pronunciation practice. I would like for everybody to please listen to the video. Listen to the video. I would like for you to take notes as you listen. Take notes as you listen. Hi, let's work on your pronunciation now. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Top. Everybody listen and repeat. Not. 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 Top. 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 No. 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 Don't. 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 Do. 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 Food. 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 One. 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 Love. 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 Okay. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It is important for you to notice the difference on pronunciation. We want you to practice a little bit more, so pronounce the following words. Listen and repeat. Lock. 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 Done. 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 Soon. 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 Wrote. 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 Come. 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 Own. 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 Hot. 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 Who? 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 Did you get it? Work with me. Lock, hot. Own, wrote. Soon, who. Come. Listen and repeat. Lock. 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 Hot. 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 Own. 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 Wrote. Wow. Wow. Soon. 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 Mm. Who? 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 Done. Good job. Come. 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 Done. 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 Okay, so in this activity, you are going to go down here where it says, añade una publicación. You're going to click and you're going to write where it says titulo, you're going to write 
pronunciation o and then here you're going to go to bocaru.com bocaru.com you're going to go to bocaru online voice recorder and you are going to record your voice For example, lock, not, no, done, hot, look. When I finish, I'm going to stop, listen to myself. For example, lock, not, no, done, hot. Look, then you are going to guardar y copiar. Copy the link, go to the platform, paste the recording, and click enviar. Any questions? Any questions? No question. No question, teacher. Okay. So at this moment, I'm going to put you in pairs and you will practice the pronunciation and you are going to put it, the recording on the platform. You are going to have three minutes. Three minutes. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Let's go. En boys room, en boys room creo yo que hay que meternos, buscar en Google y uh -huh. grabar. Grabar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Lo que acabamos de ver el video oh, y, okay. y enviarlo. Very good, Vanessa. That is correct. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. I I, I shared in okay. the WhatsApp I, group. Yes, I, I I get it. Okay. Is lock, done, zoom, brought, come, on, hot, and who? Yes. Uh, Oh. 
All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin, please read for me the words. Lock, dong, sum, up, count, am, hat, who. Excellent. I I know that everybody is not finished. That is your homework. If you are not finished, that is your homework. For the next activity, we are going to be looking at a short video in regards to a conversation. Listen to the video, please. This time we will listen to two people asking and giving information. They do so by using passive voice, but this time in simple present. Try to identify the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask about the European Union? Write your answers on our discussion box. Now. In this section, what you're going to do is practice the dialogue in pairs, and then we are going to practice it as a class. Everybody listen oh, right. and repeat, please. Listen and repeat, please. Hello. 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 Oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. I need some information. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? What currency is used in the Union? Where? 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 The European Union. The European, European Union. I think the euro is used in most of the EU. I think, I think the EU is used in most of the EU. All right. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? And, and, and is English spoken much there? there? I really have no idea. I really have no idea. I really have no idea. Huh? Uh -huh. Well, what about credit cards? Well, that's about the credit cards. Are they accepted everywhere? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, 
Aren't you? What? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. All right, I want you to work in pairs and practice the conversation. Work in pairs and practice the conversation. Let's go. Because Amanda is Kelly. Yes. So I am John. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the Ukrainian Union? Where? The Euper European Union. Yeah. I think the euro is used in the most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh. Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. <laughs> the last, the last, the last, the last sentences. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kevin. Go. You go. Okay. I can be Kelly if you want. No problem. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is using? Hello. Okay. Participen ustedes. Luego what? yo. Ah, uh, bye. Empiezo yo o usted este. No, dale usted si quiere. Ah. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. It's a palabra. Idea. 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 Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How? Well, I don't, I, I don't know. Well, you're a travel agent. 
aren't you? What's this? I heard Salon, you have the wrong number. Okay. Ahora voy yo. Voy a hacer Kelly. Entonces, Vanessa, o sea, usted yo, porque ya fui Kelly y yo. Uh -huh. Vaya. Entonces, hello. Yo. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information what con concurrence is used in the e European Union. Where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in most of the e e EU. All oh, right. And, and is, is English... All right, let me have Angelica Lasso and Amanda Mena. Angelica, you are Kelly. Amanda, you are John. Okay, teacher. Action. Uh, hello. 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 Oh, excuse me, my mic off is off. It was off. Okay. Let me start. Oh, Isa. Okay, again, please. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency do you use in the European Union? Where? The Euro European Union. I think the euro is used in most of the EU. All oh, right, and, and is English a spoken master? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair saloon. You have the wrong number. Okay. Okay, good job. Ladies, Amanda, select somebody. Angelica, select somebody. Okay, and let me see Diana Vasquez. Diana Vasquez. Diana Vasquez is Kelly. Okay. Uh, Eric Ramirez. Eric Ramirez is John. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think the euro is more, it's used in most of the EU. All right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Okay. So what we're going to do next is move forward and look at the following activity which is going to be without, passive without by. Passive voice without by. Listen, please. Hi, we're back again. Now we'll study passive voice in simple present without by. Please pay attention to the explanation, example, and exercises. 
Passive without buy. Simple. Everybody listen and repeat. They use the euro. They, they use the euro. They use the euro. In most of the European Union. In most of the European Union. So in this case, this sentence is in the active voice. Now we are going to read it in the passive voice. The euro is used in most of the EU. The euro is used in most of the EU. They speak English in many European countries. English is spoken in many European countries. English is spoken in many European countries. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. They manufacture a lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. Okay. Present. For the simple present, use the present of be plus past participle. Active. They use the euro in most of the European Union. Passive. The euro is used in most of the EU. Active. They speak English in many European countries. Passive. English is spoken in many European countries. Active. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Passive. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. As we saw with the simple past, passive, we change the emphasis when we use the simple present passive. Instead of saying they use the euro in most of the European Union, we can say the euro is used in most of the European Union. The focus changes from they to the euro, which is what we're interested in. Follow me here. I have these passive sentences to demonstrate how the by phrase is omitted here. The euro is used in most of the European Union by the people. Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. What I want you to notice is that the doer of the action in each of these sentences is obvious or not important, so the by phrase can be easily omitted. So this takes us to our structure, and because we're using simple present passive, this is what we have to work with. Is are present of be plus past participle. Can you now take a look at the following images and come up with one sentence using passive in simple present? Please write your sentence on our discussion box and ask your teacher to check it out for you. Please write your sentence. So in this example, if you look at this sentence, if you look at this picture made in China and we see the t-shirt, the what sentence can I write? I can say the T-shirt was made in China. Is it necessary for me to say by Chinese people? Is that necessary? Not necessary. It's not no, necessary, not. right? Because it's obvious. If they make it in China, it's going to be Chinese people that make it. So in this example, you are going to give me five sentences, five 
sentences and you're going to write the examples in the discussion forum. Now we are going to look at the knowledge check, complete the sentence with the passive voice. Ready, let's go. You will have five minutes. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Richard. Are you finished this part? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time, please. You need more, more time. time, please. You need more yeah. time. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank 
Kevin, Kevin, no, le halló. <ríe> Eso estoy en la última. Voy a ver si se está bien. Ahí está, ahí está. Hola. No, no le llegué. Está bien incorrecto. Sí, yo casi no lo estoy entendiendo mucho este tema, no sé. Eh.
All right, let's go ahead and check. Did everybody finish? Finish. Okay, let me have number one, many crops. Many crops. Are grown. Are grown in Taiwan. Some crops. Some crops. Consume. Consume. Are consumed. Other crops are export. Rice is cultivated. Is cultivated in warmer parts. A wide variety of seafood. A wide variety of seafood is caught. Is caught, thank you. Many people are employed. French and English are spoken. Are spoken. In Canada, the US is made up a lot of sheep. Our race. Cars and computers. Are manufactured. Okay. Excellent work. Excellent work. All right, guys, you are going to go ahead and move forward and look at the following activity, which is referring to a guide to unusual museums. You are going to read this text. Read this text. And when you finish, you are going to answer the questions. Six questions. Any questions in regards to your homework? No, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night.